Earlier in the broadcast, we saw how the Chinese meditation practice of Falun Gong or Falun Dafa is being celebrated around the world. Next, we go to Toronto in Canada to see just how this traditional self-improvement system from China has touched the life of one U.S.-born musician. A U.S.-born musician with a rising career, and it was an encounter with a traditional Chinese meditation practice that inspired him to expand his music. You know, I'd always just be writing about my own personal feeling or experience, but after I practiced Falun Gong, I started to think about, okay, how will this impact the other person? Right? What kind of feeling, what kind of experience is this song going to create in them, and how can I create a, a good one, right? Not just in terms of entertaining someone, but how can I give them something that will hopefully make them feel a little better about their life or put them in a better mood or something like that. Falun Gong, the practice that changed Parker's musical career, is a traditional Chinese meditation and self-improvement discipline. Also known as Falun Dafa, the practice was first introduced to the public in China in May 1992. Parker came across the practice in the year 2000. That year was just after the Chinese regime started a nationwide crackdown on Falun Gong. Since then, Parker has used his musical talents to campaign for those persecuted in China. At this Chinese New Year event in 2004, Parker was part of a chorus to raise awareness of what's happening in China. And this chorus later led Parker to his future wife. Um, in Washington, D.C., um, afterwards, some uh, Western practitioners got together to sing a song at an event called Coming For You, and we met at that, in that, like, chorus in that choir. The couple now have three children, and the whole family practices Falun Gong. As well as meditative exercises, Falun Gong teaches the principles of truthfulness, compassion and tolerance, something Parker says he's grateful for. We're just so much more harmonious because we can be patient with each other, we can be kinder to each other. And I have, I, I have things to compare to, right? Because when I was growing up in my own family or seeing other people's families, you know, sometimes it's harmonious and sometimes it's not. Everyone wants it to be harmonious, right? But whether we can actually achieve that is something totally different, right? But with Falun Gong, I found, yeah, we, we are, we're a family, we're a normal family, we still have conflicts and stuff. But they get smoothed over so much faster, and I just feel very, very fortunate about that. Parker's first solo album, On My Way Home, reached the entry ballot for the Grammys in 2009. The following year, one track from the album, titled See Me Go, received an honorable mention in the Billboard World Song Contest. On May 8th, Parker performed his song Changed and Amazed in front of Canada's Parliament in Ottawa. It's for World Falun Dafa Day on May 13th, a day marked around the world by those whose lives have been changed for the better, whilst remembering those who still suffer in China for their beliefs. NTD News, Toronto.